A potentially deadly infection from a fungus is spreading, with the CDC now sounding the alarm tonight, warning people this is serious for older folks, like if you have a parent or a grandparent in a nursing home. Cases of what's called CRS tripling between 2020 and 2021. And part of what's so concerning here is that it's not easy to treat. This kind of infection is resistant to most drugs. I want to show you how much it's been spreading since 2016, from four states then reporting cases to 21 states now. Nobody is in freak-out mode yet, to be clear. This is still rare. It's not a threat to folks who are otherwise generally healthy. Dr. John Torres is with me now to break this down. And Dr. John, while it is not like freak-out mode yet, there is a concern that this, and I don't want to overstate it here, but the worry that perhaps this could develop into the next MRSA. I think people know that as that sort of drug-resistant infection that you can pick up and that can be pretty scary. And Hallie, the thing of it is the World Health Organization has said this is a global issue. So not just here in the U.S., but around the globe. And since 2016, we started to see these cases expand and expand. For most of us who are healthy, have intact immune systems, not an issue because the fungus has a hard time getting into our body. And if it does, our immune system can fight it very well. But for those who are in nursing home, long-term care facilities, if they have invasive procedures done, if they have IV catheters inside, if they're on a ventilator, the, can, the fungus can get inside that way and their immune systems are weak and can't fight it off. And so that is part of the problem there. So what can you do about it as a regular person? Well, number one, stay as healthy as possible. That's the obvious thing to say. But if you have a loved one inside one of these facilities, talk to the facility about their procedures because this is what we call a nosocomial infection. In other words, a nurse or an aide will get it from one patient and accidentally take it to another patient. And the authors of the study say they think this is happening because during the pandemic, the COVID procedures were essentially Essentially different procedures than you needed to keep this clean. And so they're saying there's an issue right there. Hopefully that's being corrected, Hallie. What's interesting, too, about this fungus is that, according to our reporting, experts think that it originated or like it came from or got worse because of climate change. Explain that. Exactly. And the fungus has been around forever, essentially, but it did not really affect humans. It likes cold environments or cool environments. And that's why some of these fungi you can see affect our, our skin or our toenails because they're cooler areas of our body. But once this fungus starts being able to adapt to warmer environments, it can get inside our bodies, which are 98.6. And they think the climate warming has caused them to adapt to warmer environments, meaning they can get inside our bodies and manifest themselves that way. And the concern is that this is going to continue and perhaps yeah. even worsen as the climate change worsens, Hallie. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.